Welcome back students. In this video we shall continue what we uh, started in the previous video, laws of exponents and I just have it as exponents to continue. Now the fourth rule, the fourth rule we call it the power rule, the power rule of exponents. Uh, here we have this rule this way, if we have x raised to power a and we raise it to power b in parentheses we raise it to power b this would this is the same thing as x a times b and it's x raised to power a b x raised to power a b if we have 2 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 2 raised to power 3 now you know how we read this 2 raised to power 3 or 2 raised to the third power or 2 raised to the third exponent I will be saying it clearly using the correct syntax I'll be using the correct syntax you know every language has its syntax has its I'm sorry every subject has its syntax the rules of language so this is 2 raised to the third power in parentheses, then raised to the second power. This will now be 2 raised to power 3 times 2, which is 2 raised to power 6, or 2 raised to the sixth power. Okay? Then the same thing applies. Assuming we have, what if we have xy raised to power a? What if we have xy raised to power a? This still means x raised to power a times y raised to power a so this means x raised to power a y raised to power a that is what it means right what if we have x divided by y raised to power a so this means x raised to power a divided by y raised to power a and that gives x a divided by y a that's the same thing so what if we have 2 over 5 raised to the second power so this means 2 raised to the second power all over 5 raised to the second power and that will give you 4 over 25 What if we have 2k raised to the fourth power? 2k raised to the fourth power. The same way it applies to constants, to numbers, is the same way it applies to variables, alphabets. So this means 2 raised to power 4 times the k raised to the fourth power. You see that you say power 4 or fourth power exponent 4 or 4 exponent right so which is now 16 times k raised to power 4 which is 16 k raised to power 4 so this is the power rule you gotta go with it follow it even if you have x y z raised to power b what if you have x y z raised to the b power of it, it will give you x b y b z b x raised to the b power times y raised to the b power times z raised to the b power even if you have it this way x y z raised to power a b this means x a b times y a b times z a b so which is x a b y a b z a b remember that a b are the exponents now one x y z are the basis that is the power rule all right the next one we will talk about is the negative exponent negative exponent this is very important And we say that a negative exponent, a base with a negative exponent, is the reciprocal of a base with a positive exponent and vice versa. Right? A base 
with a negative exponent negative exponent is the reciprocal of the base of the same base reciprocal of the same base with a positive exponent and vice versa and vice versa now what does vice versa mean if you decide to say this the other way around that will tell you the vice versa means that a base with a positive exponent is also the reciprocal of a base with a negative exponent so if i say this a base with a negative exponent is the reciprocal of the same base the reciprocal of the same base with a positive exponent okay and then a base with a positive exponent is the reciprocal of the same base with a negative exponent let's see what we're talking about if I have x raised to power negative a this is a base with a negative exponent the base is x and the exponent is negative a this is the reciprocal reciprocal means 1 over in your calculator you see it as 1 over x some people will see it as x raised to power negative 1 in your calculator your scientific calculator so this is reciprocal of the same base with a positive exponent the same base with a positive exponent so if we have also let's do another example if we have x raised to power negative a b this is the reciprocal of x raised to power a b if we have 2 raised to power negative 3 that is the reciprocal if we want to change this negative exponent to a positive exponent it is the reciprocal of it 1 over 2 raised to power 3 which is 1 over a now the same way and vice versa if we have a positive exponent 2 raised to the third power and you want a negative exponent this means 1 over 2 raised to power negative 3 vice versa right and I'm gonna show you why you can ask me why is this so why is this so let's prove it if we have the 2 raised to power 3 to give us 1 over 2 raised to negative 3 when we cross product, when we use cross product, assuming we cross multiply, we have 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power negative 3. Let's see whether this will give us, will it be equal to 1 times 1. So let's see whether it will give us 1. Now this means it is the same base. The same base is 2. And then what do you do? You add the exponents. When you have this, you can add the exponents. 3 plus negative 3. So this will be 2 into 3 minus 3, which is 2 raised to the power 0. And remember that anything to the 0 exponent is 1. 1 is equal to 1. And you have it that way. That the negative, the base with the negative exponent is the reciprocal of the base with the positive exponent and vice versa let's look at some more examples of this let's look at some more examples of this what if we have 2 raised to power 2 over 5 raised to power negative 3 in this case this means 1 over 2 over 5 raised to power 3. That is what it means. That's from the definition. Now, but we still have another way to do this. This is one method. First method to do this. I'll still do this with another method. So this will now be 1 over 2 raised to power 3 over 5 raised to power 3. Which means that this is 1 divided by 2 raised to power 3 over 5 raised to power 3. And that will give you 1 times 5 raised to power 3 over 2 raised to power 3. 
and that will be 5 to the third power over 2 to the third power and that will be 125 over 8. Or if you're asked to leave it in positive exponent, something if you're asked to leave it in positive exponent, this is 5 over 2 all raised to power 3. To leave it in positive exponent only. Some questions will ask you to do that. Now, another way, if you don't understand this like this, another way you can do it is this. Second method. Two over five raised to power negative three. You can say that this is two raised to power negative. Remember the power rule that we did earlier on? X over y raised to power a. This means two raised to power negative three over five raised to power negative three. And this will not, you now do this separately. Two raised to power negative three means one over two raised to power three. 5 raised to the power negative 3 means 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. So you now plug it in here. 2 raised to the power negative 3, 1 over 2 raised to the power 3, divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. And that will now give you 1 over 2 raised to the power 3, divided by 1 over 5 raised to the power 3 which is now 1 over 2 to the third power times 5 to the third power over 1, which is now 5 to the third power over 2 to the third power, which is 5 over 2 all raised to the third power, which is 125 over 8, whichever way they want you to leave it. Thank you very much for listening. We still have another law of exponent, which I will do in the next video. So please watch out for that video. Thank you students for listening and you have a good day.